side of the sea. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> Use it as long as you like, Don Diego. <laughs> it is surprising to find you in such good spirits, Father. Why should I not be? Monastario could not have treated us better. And the doctor has made me almost well again. We have been served the finest of foods. <laughs> that chicken is to be our supper. And I've had a pleasant visit with my friend Nacho. And my wife and my daughter have been released, uh, with the explanation from the Capitan that they were merely held as hostages until my return. I will join them after the trial. I'm worried about that trial. You know what justice you can expect from Monastario. <laughs> you have no cause for worry, my son. Diego, when I surrendered myself to the governor, I told him the truth. He sent me back here under arrest with orders to Monastario that I was to be tried on the 14th, which is tomorrow. I know. Ah, but what you do not know is that the chief magistrate of Monterey, Judge Vasca, will arrive to preside at the trial. Who is an honest and respectable gentleman, the personal envoy of the governor. And with Judge Vasca presiding, the commandante's false charges will melt away. <laughs> it would not surprise me if, as a result of the trial, Capitan Monastario found himself in official disfavor. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, Garcia. See, si, Capitan. Here. For a man facing official disfavor, Capitan Monastario does not appear too uneasy. Ah. <laughs> Do we dare go through with it? The governor himself gave the order. There were two communications. Yes. One, an order to try Torres and his fellow conspirators on the 14th. The other, a notice that Judge Vasco would arrive on the 14th and to cooperate with him fully. But the chief judge must preside at the trial if he's in the area. Exactly. But Judge Vasco will not be in the area. And by the time he arrives, the trial will have been concluded. And the bodies of Torres and Alejandro de la Vega will be evidence that justice has been done. But will Sergeant Garcia be a party to such a thing? Sergeant Garcia knows nothing. You heard what I told him, that we need more time to prepare a welcome for Judge Vasca and to delay him until noon tomorrow. Will he not put together the trial and delaying the judge? Ah, Sergeant Garcia could not put together two pieces of bread to make a sandwich. Well, Sergeant, up in pursuit of Zorro again, eh? Not this time, John Diego. I'm going to San Fernando to bring Judge Vasca back to the trial. You play your part well, Bernardo. Even I can't catch you. Oh, Sergeant Garcia is under orders to escort Judge Vasca here. And Capitan Monastario insists on a fair trial. <laughs> I do not believe it either, but I agree with him. Judge Vasca does need an escort. <laughs> Sergeant. Has Judge Vasca arrived yet? Not yet, but he is expected. You have been selected to perform a service for Capitan Munostaria. Oh, no, Sergeant, please. My tavern is yours. Tell him we're closing. The Commandante is preparing a reception for Judge Vasca, so it is necessary to delay the judge until tomorrow morning. I cannot keep him here if he does not wish to stay. Judge Vasca is noted for his appetite. You will prepare a banquet the like of which you have never served before. See. Si. This is San Fernando. It is, but it is practically the same thing. Permit me. I am Sergeant Demetrio Lopez Garcia at your service. The, the Capitan Monastario has assigned me to make pleasant your journey from here to Los Angeles. Ah, splendid. The, the horses will be changed by the time you have rested. Oh, I have no intention of resting. I have a trial to attend in the morning. But surely you will take time for a little refreshment. No, thank you. No, I shall dine in Los Angeles. But the Excellency, this is the Tavern of the Golden Goose, renowned for its food. Well, really? Tell me, do you eat here, Sergeant? Whenever possible. <laughs> then perhaps just a bite. Notify me immediately, the horses are ready. Certainly, Excellency, this way, please. This way, Excellency, especially reserved for you. Your cloak. <laughs> a gentle a... brushing to remove the dust. Oh, if it is a necessary thing, I do not intend to stay long. Close for it to wash your hands, Excellencia. <laughs> well, really, thank you, my dear. It seems that they intend to keep Judge Vasca here all night. When no one is looking, harness the horses to the carriage and bring it here. I will enter that balcony. Join me there.
Well, Sergeant, now I can proceed till his uncle is satisfied. Well, there is nothing like a broiled fowl to whip the appetite. Is your honor ready for the rest of the meal? That is more. That is only the beginning. <laughs> Garcia is the greatest eater in all of California. Oh, I have no doubt he is the local champion, my dear, but not all California. <laughs> Let's go inside and have a drink to the sergeant. The carriage ready to go. Good. It has developed into an eating contest between Judge Vasca and Sergeant Garcia. Yes, and for the sake of my father and Nacho Torres, we must hope the judge wins. It was so late. Oh, dessert. Doesn't it look good, Sergeant? Huh? Now, just as soon as we have finished this, we must be on our way. Excuse me. What a beautiful stomach. I have met my match. I can delay him no longer. The Commandante's reception will be ruined, and so will I. What can I do? Sometimes when guests become boisterous, I give them a small sleeping potion. Does it work? One sip and poof, like a baby for hours. Where is it? Journey, Excellency. Mm, I think not. Well, only a little after dinner cordial to aid the digestion. Oh, my digestion is excellent, Sergeant. You drink it. Well, surely a toast to the king. Oh, the king. The king. The king.
bit of war, my friend, eh? Judge! Judge, wake up! They must have given him something. We've got to get him out of here, but how? Out the window? Oh, no, we would need a block and tackle for that. Wait. I shall get Sergeant Garcia to help us. Do you want us to go outside again? Never mind. It will be a long night. Enjoy yourself. When the judge wakes up and learns of the celebration in his honor, he will forgive me. I hope. Sergeant Garcia! It is not possible. After two fathers. One drink and poof, eh? Sergeant Garcia, come up here. Come in, Excellency! Maybe he talks in his sleep. Give me another powder. Another one? Better make it two. It was I who called. Sergeant Garcia is coming. Get under the bed. Very well, behind the drapes, but quickly. Here we are, Excellency. Run for the road. You may turn around now, Sergeant. Zorro. Good evening, Sergeant. What is that you have there? You're only a nightcap for His Excellency, the judge. I believe the judge has had quite enough. You drink it. Oh, no. Why, is there something wrong with it? Not at all, Senor Zorro, but... Then drink it. To the king? To the king. All of it. You see, like I told you, Senor Zorro, not... You're really beginning to look like him. <laughs> well, at least he's walking. Now take him downstairs and out the front door. Do not worry, it will be all right. Come on, come on. 
so early. Capitan Monasterio's orders. But Judge Vasca is not here Please, yet. Please, Senor Alcalde, it is not permitted to talk to the prisoners inside. Insolente. The prisoners have arrived. It is time to begin. I'll be as brief as possible. Silence! Stand up for Judge Pena! The licenciado is not a judge! Order! In the absence of Judge Vasca, let the record show that Magistrate Pena presided in the case of the Crown versus Ignacio Torres and Alejandro de la Vega. The charge is treason. No. I protest this action. You cannot begin until Judge Vasca arrives. Let the record also state that should Judge Vasca arrive at any time during this trial, I will gladly permit him to take my place. Now proceed with the evidence. Learned Judge, as Commandante of the Pueblo de Los Angeles, I accuse Ignacio Torres of high treason and Alejandro de la Vega of conspiracy against the Crown, and with the aid of Alejandro de la Vega, escaped capture. That is irrefutable evidence. In the name of His Majesty the King, I demand the death penalty for these traitors. Have the prisoners anything to say in their defense? What good would it do? This is not a courtroom. This is an execution chamber. There being no further evidence, I will consider a verdict. This is the sound of Senorita Justice pointed at your back. She awaits your verdict. Well, what is your verdict? The, the verdict is... is... The verdict is... Not guilty. Not... What did you say? Not guilty. But you cannot go in there. There's a trial going on inside. Oh, can't I? No. I am the judge. The trial is not over. Everyone take their seats. Silence! Order in the court! Judge Vasca. Oh, you pardon, Your Honor. Capitan Monasterio at your service. Uh, we have already had the trial, and the verdict has been rendered. Uh, and what was the verdict? Well, not guilty, of course, Your Honor. I pride myself on the justice suspense under my command. Your pardon. Something terrible has happened, Commandante. Zorro has kidnapped Judge Vasca. Oh. Oh. Aren't you out of uniform, Sergeant? Diego! Diego! We are acquitted! You were? <laughs> 